Love. Oh, I can't hear you. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Of course, you need to look at myself, which I'm really. <laughs> I know. I hate that too. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm glad I'm not the one. Oh, that's what I've been dealing with. Okay. Yeah. I'm my sure. crowded with curtains at the moment. Just yeah. Like what's happening well you look great um thank you again for doing this my pleasure thank you for getting me um out of homeschool this morning yeah yeah oh well, oh my gosh <laughs> i'm sure that's a um a, a very interesting experience how are you holding up um i'm i'm good you know i you know it's been a, a bit like i i kind of like fluctuate through like anxiety like being very anxious about this whole thing to like you know what everything is gonna be okay we just need to go get through this period ride this wave out um and and you know just hopefully hopefully you know we can this this whole thing can end soon and we can sort of get back to some some semblance of normalcy but um i'm 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 fine for the most part like i i i'm a home body anyway to work for, from home yeah so i usually work from home anyway so even oh, before okay. i've been you know i've been with deadline for oh gosh almost six years now and we, wow. we yeah we majority work from home so it hasn't been a big transition for us so yeah it's been pretty good so but how about you? How, what are you, how are you, how are you uh, keeping sane? Are you picking up new hobbies during this, our current quarantine time? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I have two children, so that's a, a, a solid chunk. You're definitely keeping busy. <laughs> yeah, um, like I said, I'm, I'm start, I'm trying to do like a, like a makeshift homeschool program for my five-year-old and, but also just trying to, you know, just spend time together for right i'm usually working and um um i'm really in, enjoying this time together mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. like you i'm sort of like go in between anxiety and, and yeah i mean for me personally I'm, I'm just very grateful for um this this time with the family but right. am about the rest of the world and the right family. no me too exactly like i'm just you but know I, it's like how long can we do this and how can we help and right exactly yeah. exactly like you feel it's like you feel a bit helpless now because it's like yes. you know, we don't really but hopefully like I said I'm 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 very um optimistic that everything is going to be fine at the end of the day um so so yeah so let's just jump into the the the, the show and the finale um Stumptown um you know it ended um a couple of days ago uh, what are what are some of the reactions that you've been getting um from from the show and from the finale oh gosh you know i uh i watched it last night and was very <laughs> happy with ha with how it turned out and i thought that it was such a nice way to wrap up this whole the storyline of of dex and and her um and really like confronting her past and really right at a lot of um, a lot of the guilt she felt about um, things that had gone down. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of reaction, I don't really like. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't really go online to look at myself all day. Yeah, day, yeah. <laughs> all day reading the news, but um, but not so much for our show. You know, I I'm very proud of how it turned out, and I'm mm -hmm. so hard, especially on this last episode because there was a lot of nights, and those are always very challenging for crews and and everybody involved. So. Mm -hmm. I'm just proud that we that we did it that we yeah completed it and I'm just very happy how it turned out. So um, I, I I know that uh, there there has been no official announcement of a of a season two. I'm sure the things are on hold right now because of uh, what's going right. on, yeah. but. Um, in terms of season two, have you, um, as a producer, have you been talking to the other producers about what you guys would like to see? Are there stories that you would like to see um, Dax explore in terms of her life and her past? Um, um, well, we ended on a bit of, you know, there was a huge conclusion at the end of this season, which mm -hmm. was, and then we kind of opened it up to another sort of, I wouldn't call it a cliffhanger, but opening up a new opportunity to, right. um, Dex looking to uh, another place in her past. I don't know how much I'm supposed to say or not, but yeah, I mean, the, I mean, the, the finale is aired, so we're I think we're in the safe zone. It's on Hulu now. Come <laughs> back into picture. Um, in what respect, I don't know, but mm -hmm. I think that that 
would be a really fun thing to explore um, mm -hmm. the dynamics mm -hmm. of that, the hurt and the pain of that, and just sort of how, how she's how she's going to deal with that. I think it's also, you know, the way that we ended in terms of, uh, of a violent end. I don't mm -hmm. think Dex has ever been directly responsible for the death of anybody. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. That is going to spin her out in, 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 a, in a different way. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Personally, I would like the show to go, um, you know, I like playing this woman as like a very single, fun, um, getting into sort of trouble. And I, I would like to see that come in a bit more this this past season was uh, very focused on um, dealing with her past, and now we get to push forward, mm -hmm. and be, like see what she's like in 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 day to day. I also we have such an amazing cast, so I'm really excited to explore some of their personal lives, yeah. some of their backstories, some of their own relationships, bringing in some more dynamics with that. So that's what I'm hoping that we'll we'll bring in. Right. Time. Um, and do you got, do you, and obviously the, the, you touched on this earlier, the, the, the end of the, the, the show, the finale kind of revealed this, opened this sort of new box, um, um, from, from, uh, from Dex's past. And we've seen how, you know, she's been affected by what her parents did to her, how they abandoned her brother and, you know, um, what, what, in terms of, in terms of that, do you, I mean, I don't know if, I don't know if you, like I said, I, I don't know if you guys have started thinking about season two yet, but in terms of her storyline with her parents, and also it seems like a lot of parent, par parental issues are going to, uh, could be incorporated in next season. Is that something that you can, you can, you can kind of tease or anticipate that um, fans can look forward to? Yeah, well, another um, opportunity, somewhat of a cliffhanger, was um, Gray's father coming back into yeah. his life and um, thinking that this is this has been somewhat of a negative father figure in mm. his life, and they're trying to rekindle something. They're trying to, you know, uh, heal some heal some wounds, but we leave at the end where Gray is now in a position where he might have to dive into some criminal activity again. Mm. He's sort of always on the fence. We've seen him do, you know, to varying types of criminal activity the whole season. So we might see him fall into a whole other realm. Mm -hmm. um, and so that'll be exciting to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I think that, listen, I think that we all have parent issues. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> scary as a parent i'm like i'm gonna mess this up somehow <laughs> to what degree but it's I, gonna I think everybody has that same mentality yeah. right yeah <laughs> There's, they said something once and mm -hmm. it just burrowed in and it's just there yeah so i i think it's an it's such an interesting relationship to explore and i don't know if we're i, I think there were moments in this season where we were kind of teasing at what happened to them and why mm -hmm. they happened. Um, I think we kept throwing ideas out because we wanted to save it for this. So hopefully we're gonna right. understand um, why exactly they left. Did they have a good reason? Um, and, and, and try to understand that a bit more. Right. Um, and I want to talk about, you touched on this a little bit, um, but talking about her relationships, um, her romantic relationships, it seemed like at the beginning of the series, it, it, it was kind of setting up a sort of love triangle, but that, you know, that didn't really um, stay together throughout the whole time. And, 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 and now that she sort of, I don't know if you can say she's found closure with what happened with um, Benny, right. but, but do you see her possibly being ready for being, being, basically closing that chapter in her life and, and being open to to new relationships and to and to maybe like forming a new type of bond because she does i mean you, she does like to be at the end of the day i think um you um and she likes to be alone you know yeah. it seems like she, yeah the, at the end of the day she 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 does she values her alone time so do you see her opening up more so more so now that this chapter of her love life has kind of come to a close i think it's a possibility okay. but the always seen Dex has been the only emotional relationship she has with anyone is with Ansel. Like that's mm -hmm. the only mm -hmm. person for her, you know, and that is kind of enough. I don't, right. I mean, I, this year was, we were sort of trying out things. We tried out Hoffman and I think that was like an experiment of like, what is this? And is this a thing? And mm -hmm. it's probably good for me, but I'm not going to do it. I'm also going to do this person. But I don't think, 
I, I don't see her as a person who is in a monogamous relationship. I've mm -hmm. never been into it. I've been, you know, and, and I, I try to dissemble that love triangle as soon as humanly possible. Mm -hmm. uh, because I just don't see her. She's, done, she's not going to play games with anyone. She's not yeah. going to manipulate anyone. She, obviously, she finds herself in these situations where, um, you know, she is, a, she is a borderline sex addict. So if she's in a relationship with someone and someone else comes in the picture, like, it's going to get messy and sloppy. And I think probably what she's learned this season is to, you know, not do that with people who are in your circle. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like keep it on the outside. So I'm, I'm sort of excited uh, for the possibility where she, she might be able to have fun again. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that that's what I'm looking forward to. I, I, I want her to like go out and have fun mm -hmm. and meet people and, and just kind of have fun again. I think that this season she's, it's been so heavy for her. Right. And I think if anything, putting Benny to rest has been, is giving her license to go like, oh, I can breathe and I can do, I can go out and I can do other things. And if her parents come into the picture, that'll be an interesting dynamic in terms of her responsibilities towards Ansel. So right. we'll see. Right. You know, I, I really connected to how complex this character was. I, <laughs> and, I, and I love the fact that she, that she, it, you know, nothing about her was surfaced, you know, and, and I love the fact that she was, un, you know, she was, she's this woman who's very independent, very unapologetic about her sexuality. She's also dealing with mental health issues, all these mm -hmm. things that I feel like it's really important for people to see, especially in women on television, see this complexity, see this nuanced, um, these nuanced types of type of women. For you, when you were first introduced to Dex, this is a two part question. When you were first introduced to Dex, what, what did you initially connect with? Um, and then oh, how do you kind of approach playing a character that has all these complexities to her? Mm -hmm. um, when I, I, I was really attracted to her for all the, reason you, the reasons you just sort of explained. I yeah. think it, it's very hard to find a female character that can be that broken, um, who could, but who can also be funny, who also right. has a very strong honor code. I think it was yeah. the interesting thing. I think that I, what I kept coming back to was that this is like a woman who continuously falls forward. So that means that this is somebody who's just like putting herself out there. She's trying things, realizing they're not working in the moment and is able to pivot. Right. And I think that for a character on a, on a TV show, it's a very interesting journey to see. Um, I was very excited to, to, to play a woman who was going to be bisexual, fluid, was going to just kind of go, this is a person that's attractive to me and how am I going to explore that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that was exciting to be to play that on a network show um, mm -hmm. and um and it was just like the darkness mixed with uh, the humor that comes out of her situations that she finds herself in it was just it was an interesting um it was an interesting combination for me and a challenge and so mm -hmm. i was excited about that and um and what was the second part of the question? Oh, and what, uh, I guess, what, what about, how do you kind of approach playing a woman with, an, with so, uh, such a complex yeah. character? Like, how do you balance all of that stuff? Yeah, well, again, another interesting aspect, I mean, there's so many compartments of this person, like you said, she's very complex. Yeah. And one of the compartments was um, playing um, somebody who's ex-Marine, who's dealing with yeah. PTSD. And I, I, I found that a really interesting challenge. And I think that the way that it's kind of played out or the way that I've tried to work with it um, and portray it in a really honest way, because um, first of all, I respect anybody who has uh, signed on to put their life on the line for mm -hmm. anybody, anybody in, in, in the service, anybody. Um, so it's really important for me to portray that in an honest way. Um, but also dealing with mental health, I think it's, when somebody is dealing with these issues in, in terms of Dex, I found it very interesting to work with boundaries mm -hmm. and to go like, how much is she able to communicate in that moment? What is she able to sort of face in this moment? Or is she going to just avoid and just kind of doing that dance of, uh, with communication, whether it's physical or it's, it's, it's like, like towards the end, it became more of a, um, a physical boundary where she was 
having some serious flashbacks and it was like how does she get over that to then get in a fight with somebody in the woods mm -hmm. uh, or or if it's somebody close to her like gray and she's not able to um, emotionally communicate that how is she going to try to rise above or is she gonna is she's gonna run away mm -hmm. so it, was, it was playing that and finding those moments of vulnerability in there mm -hmm. um, where she is expressing that and then when she's choosing to run and hide. Mm. Uh, in terms of PTSD, I mean, it, when I approached it, you know, I think that we all have stuff that we are right. dealing with. And obviously this is somebody that is dealt with a very serious situation where somebody died and somebody very close to her and she feels responsible. So it's a much more intense experience. But I <laughs> think that we are all dealing with some kind of traumatic events that's hold that, that uh, some kind of traumatic event that is holding us back mm -hmm. so it's just really locking into that and and trying to make it as um as believable to you as possible and and, and working within that whatever you're dealing mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. um and then you, uh you kind of touched on this but this this the show was this sort of kind of marked your return to to network tv in a full-time in a full-time capacity right. um looking back on this season what is what is some of the moments that stand out to you what are you what are what are some of the highlights for you um we had such a, well first of all we have an amazing cast and i love spending time with them which is such a big thing mm -hmm. <laughs> it is a, it is such an important thing when you are doing a long running show i mean we did 18 episodes and yeah. i mean you were together a lot and i like every single person and every single person so it's so the time spent with them on set has been pretty wonderful. We've also had some really great guest cast come in um, and they've been super fun. And we, you know, our show is set in Portland. So we're able to kind of create this world of characters that's maybe a little bit more funky than normal. Mm -hmm. um, um, and, um, you know, all of the, all the fight scenes have been really challenging and it yeah it seems like a very like physically fun. demanding role <laughs> i was like i know i was watching i can't maybe i was watching oh i think that our stunt coordinator sent me like a compilation of all the fight stuff and i was like oh god i remember that oh i remember like it was like but it's so, so cool physical. watching it though right like I it has to be like this oh, is I remember that. <laughs> yeah it's a huge thing so i think overall it's been a huge accomplishment because going into this I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it physically emotionally mentally mm -hmm. so when we were done I was very like okay we we did it we did it we actually mm -hmm. did it I didn't know if we could but uh but we did um and also like I mean you talked about the fight scenes and how that was challenging and and obviously the, the role looks very physically demanding but as a the lead of this 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 um show as a person being the person who connects everybody's kind of stories together what what has that experience been like for you it's been kind of strange because mm. i i really i mean i haven't ever been uh in 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 a leading position mm. um like i i don't like being <laughs> like that attention <laughs> what happened i think honestly what happened is i fell so in love with this character mm -hmm. and was so excited to play her mm -hmm. but i didn't really think about how many scenes i was going to be in and how i <laughs> force right. um, and uh it's been i mean it, it's been weird but it's also been wonderful because i think what happens is you you have to be responsible for setting the tone and um keeping things positive mm -hmm. And uh, I, I consider myself a pretty positive person, but it also like it forces you to be like, I'm here all, and, and you're with the crew all day. So there's like this amazing bonding thing that happens where you're there every day um, in almost every scene. And so you really see how everything works. And one of the reasons I wanted to, I, to be an EP on this is to learn as much as I, I can. So I do take sort of responsibility for the whole show and how it's right. working and making sure that everybody is feeling good and that it's a fun place to be in a fun place to work and that we're doing our best. So it's, yeah. it's kind of, it's, it's been, it's been interesting. It's certainly been a lot, but I've learned a ton yeah. and really have enjoyed myself. So yeah. 
yeah. yeah. Um, and then you mentioned like, you know, you ha you guys had some some really amazing guest stars uh, this season. Um, for, for next season, do you guys, is, are there any uh, dream names? Is there any somebody, is there, are, are there, is there anybody that you, you sort of are itching to work with, maybe to play your mom or, or, or other, um, other folks? I don't know. I mean, we, we, we're waiting for a pickup to get into these. Right. Movies, but it will be an interesting casting. I think yeah. it's, it'll... <sighs> I don't, it could really go many different directions. Um, so I am excited about that because yeah. we're still flushing out who these people are. We've sort of talked a little bit about them throughout the season, but I, I, I really don't know. I really right, right. have no idea yet. Right. Yeah. And obviously, I I need to ask you. Um, you also play another very important character for another uh, very another big um, franchise, uh, Maria Hill um, for the Avengers. Um, now that the, they're in Phase Four, and we're we're gonna start seeing um, what's coming in from that. Is is there anything you can tell us about your character? Uh, when when the next time we're gonna see? I'm sure I know I know this might be <laughs> an impossible oh, I, ask. I um. But. I really don't know of anything. I was lucky enough to do the last Spider-Man. Yeah. But it's, I think it really comes down to storylines and what they decide to, to do with us. Mm -hmm. I I don't even know where Maria is right now. She, she, I thought she was in that movie, but it turns out she was an alien. The whole yeah, time. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know where she's at. I hope she is on vacation somewhere. He um, deserves a vacation. <laughs> she's taking a little me time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I don't know, but I I love doing those movies, and I love everybody involved. So yeah. you know, I'm always I'm always excited and and I'm ready to to jump in whenever they need me. Right. And 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 also just to just to wrap it up, is there any like what what's next for you? What's next on the horizon? And what are you what do you sort of what do you uh, what's the first thing that you would like to do after this whole uh, quarantine period is over? Like go to a rest, like order a drink at a bar, <laughs> <laughs> right next to somebody. Right. <laughs> right. Fashion and just kind of, just kind of, I don't know, maybe touch hands. I don't. Yeah, I was like, I, I was talking to my boyfriend. I was like, you know what? We should probably. We don't. I hate clubs. Like they're like the worst thing ever. Totally. For me. But I was like, maybe we should just get a club up after this, just because. <laughs> Yeah. It's so weird, but it's like you start thinking about these things. Like, what am I gonna do when I can interact with people again? Like, yeah, it's it's a funny thing. Like, I, I it, it's a funny timing because I had so many trips planned this mm. month and the next month because I've been working for like nine months straight. Mm -hmm. and so it's like I'm going to Canada. My sister's turning forty. You know, oh, we were wow. going to New Orleans to like do March Madness. It was a whole thing. Yeah. And I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully traveling a little bit more and seeing. Yeah. 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 State, so. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm hoping that I can go back to Texas and see my family. My brother just had a baby. So oh <laughs> I want to, yeah, I was like, I was going to go like whenever the quarantine period was, but I was like, I don't want to risk exposing the, uh, this little, he's only like six weeks old. So yeah. Um, but in terms of, or you know what I mean? Like the timing yeah. of that, that's something I think about is like, going to the hospital and give birth. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's very, very, very uh, scary. But in terms of projects, is there anything you can talk yes. about um, that you have coming up? I mean, I'm developing stuff. I think I'm using this time to get into some projects that I'm, I'm hoping to get off the ground. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of working on that and delving into them and, and, and fleshing them out a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, this time to, to do that it'll be an interesting time when this quarantine is over because all of us are typing and working and, and developing and so I think it'll be a really wonderfully creative time when this right. is over. And then just finally, we've seen you in so many different roles and you know you, you, do, you do comedy, you do drama, you do um, com, com, comic book uh, um, uh, based stories. Is there something that you haven't done yet that you are just scratching to do um oh i mean i would love to do more theater actually Ooh. i would i was able to do a play in new york about two and a half years ago something like that and that was just like such an amazing it was such an amazing experience so yeah. i would like to 
get back on stage. I live in Los Angeles, so it's a little, it's not as, um, not much of an opportunity. Uh, right. not, not, I can say words. <laughs> There's not as much opportunity in Los Angeles. Um, but I would like to do that. In terms of like fil films or, or, or roles, I, I mean, I don't know. I think it's right now becoming the people you work with, working with great directors. Um, but there isn't really, you're, you're right, there isn't a ton of like things that I, I haven't done a horror movie. <laughs> oh, that might be fun. <laughs> Practical, oh, no. get, get the screaming, get the scream. I'm great at night shoots. I'm not great. So that <laughs> okay, kind of, okay. That'll be rough. That'll yeah. Be rough. yeah. But I don't know, something, you know, I've been living in this kind of messy, drunken, dark uh, world of deck. So yeah. Kind of looking to bounce out of that and play something a bit more stuff. like a nice romantic comedy yeah. something <laughs> super light or something right or weird like a super superficial character or something. yeah <laughs> the opposite of what i've been doing just to keep myself entertained yeah well we'll def we definitely would be interesting to see you in that um yeah but thank you so much for for doing this thank you for talking congrats on the first season and we look forward to the, the next. Yes. Well, stay safe and stay yeah, well. You too. You too. Thanks so much. <laughs> All right. Have a good rest of your, your day. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Bye. bye.